All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the control panel that you see right here. Uh, so this is what you're actually going to see when you first power on your SkyCut after a few seconds. This is the main screen or the home screen. And uh, you, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six icons up there. And uh, each one of them will perform a different function there for you. And then you have your, uh, it's almost like your, your control pad right here. And we're going to talk real briefly about each one of these sections here and in follow along videos we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the uh, the set icon that you see right there okay so uh, very first let's go ahead and start with the recut uh, the recut actually will go ahead and repeat the last cut uh, of whatever you were cutting before okay now while we are cutting or while this uh, recut button is being pressed you notice that the icon has changed and it will turn into a pause button. So we'll take a look at that. I do have another camera set up so we can sort of see uh, what it's actually doing. Uh, and it's going to use the speed and force that is set up down here. And we'll, we'll discuss that here a little later. But uh, anyways, uh, the, the recut, go ahead and push it. And you can sort of see that the pause button is now displayed. And if we go to the other camera here, you can sort of see what it's actually doing. Now, we don't actually have a blade in there or anything like that, but this is just for demo purposes. But you can see that it returned back to where it originally started. Um, now, the, the next button here is actually going to be the USB button. And the USB button, the, the way that this thing works is, uh, if you remember in a previous video, on the right-hand side of the machine, okay, uh, on the right-hand side here, uh, there is going to be a USB plug, okay, uh, where you can take like a thumbstick, for example. And if you click on this icon, it's going to try to read whatever's inserted in there, and you're going to be able to cut directly from the USB stick. Now, the file format that it requires is PLT, and that is something that uh, the software will export for you, no problem. Okay, so we'll talk about the, about how to use that a little bit, bit later, but this is just a little orientation. Uh, the next item here is the test cut. Uh, this will actually execute a test cut with the current speed and force settings that you have set up. Uh, this is what you're probably going to want to use whenever you're, you know, you're you're questioning: Am I giving enough force? Am, am I going too fast? Going too slow? Uh, because what it will do, it will uh, just move in a real tiny, tiny square. And uh, I don't know if you guys were able to to see how tiny, tiny that was, but I'll hit the test button again. But it, it just moves in a tiny square, and what you were able to do, you know, with the test cut is, you know, without wasting a lot of paper, is you can see, did it actually cut all the way through, or do I need to adjust any settings? And where do you adjust the settings? Well, it's right here with the speed and force. So you can sort of see that we have the plus minus. You you are able to like push and hold this to to rapidly, drastically change, uh, change those, or you can just do a couple taps. And then uh, you know, same thing down here with the with the with um, the force here, we can do that as well. Okay, uh, as you can see, the uh, you have the arrowhead functionality there. Uh, you also have the ability to do a quick test utilizing this without actually going back to the to the screen. Okay, so again, we'll we'll talk a little bit more about this uh, with the presets on how we can we can do that. Okay, so uh, next thing here is uh, the stop. You have the stop sign there. Uh, that's actually going to stop and cancel the current cut. And then the uh, the set icon has a bunch of uh, menu settings that you'll see here. Uh, camera, Wi-Fi, advanced mode. We're, we're going to dive a lot deeper into it and follow along videos for it specifically. So uh, pay attention to the, the titling of our next few videos so you can sort of see what's going on there. I'll go ahead and click on the home icon. Now, uh, the the mover control arrows, okay? Um, something to note, you know, you can push the up button. You can sort of see where the, the mat is going. Um, you know, down goes the opposite. Now, if you are used to having the the up arrow actually shove the mat further uh, further this way okay you, you are able to do that it's under the settings again we'll talk about that later but this also controls your head left and right uh, we can sort of see that here with a left and right okay and then you got the forward and back rollers okay so that is uh, you know, basically it, but uh, one thing that we didn't touch on is uh, this little button right here. So if, if you notice that if I push and hold the the button, you know, this head 
moves very, very fast, okay? So how can we slow that down to get a little more uh, finite movements? Well, if we go ahead and push uh, the little fast forward button, you'll, you'll sort of see that it turns very tiny, uh, very tiny there. And uh, if, I, if I, I can just tap this stuff, and this head is barely even moving. And uh, I can sort of show that to you in the, in the grand scheme of things here. Pushing and holding this, you can, you can barely even see that thing moving. Uh, but it, it does give you the ability to, to make it uh, exactly where, wherever you want that. Okay, so that is a, a real brief, uh, brief overview uh, of this. Uh, keep in mind that throughout the, uh, the time that you're going to see uh, you know, see your main screen here. You always have this right here. This will go back to the prior screen. Um, and then this one right here actually takes you to the main home screen that we're uh, so used to seeing because uh, some of these menus, you're, you're going to get a little bit deeper uh, in it. And uh, you can either go back or you can go directly to the to the home screen. Okay, so uh, continue on watching the videos. Like I said, the, the next couple ones we're going to be uh, diving deeper into the uh, the set uh, set menu items and stuff. Okay, so keep on watching.